Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to talk about difference between positive staining and negative staining. So let's start. See the first point of difference, stain used. In case of positive staining, we use basic stain. And in case of negative staining, we use acidic stain. Always remember, stain is a kind of chemical or dye which is usually a kind of coloring agent. Okay? that improves the visualization of microorganisms by increasing contrast between the background and the object during microscopic examination, right? Let's see the second point of difference, charge of stain. So as we use basic stain in case of positive staining, then always remember basic stain is of positive charge. And we use acidic stain in case of negative staining. Acidic stain carries what kind of charge? Negative, right? Let's see the third point of difference, examples. So if I talk about positive staining, then always remember methylene blue and crystal violet. These are the most common kind of basic staining reagents what are used in microbiology laboratory on routine basis to perform positive staining. And if I talk about negative staining, then always remember negrosine or India ink is one of the most commonly used acidic stain which is used in microbiology laboratory to perform negative staining and in addition to this eosin and congorite these are also very good examples of acidic staining reagents okay let's see the fourth point of difference heat fixation step heat fixation step is actually required in case of positive staining but it is not required to perform negative staining now we are coming towards the fifth point of difference outcome part when we perform positive staining always remember positive staining results in staining of the bacterial cells and negative staining, negative staining never results in staining of the bacterial cells, but it actually stains the background, okay? So that's why on the basis of the outcome, what we report after performing positive staining and negative staining for a bacterial culture, positive staining is also called as what? Direct staining, right? Because it directly stains the bacterial cells in their examination. And if I talk about negative staining, Negative staining is called as indirect staining because it actually stains the background and the target bacterial cells, they are not stained, right? So that's why we can say it is an indirect means of examining the bacterial cells, okay? That's why it is called as the indirect staining. Now we are coming towards the general observation part. So with the help of some schematic diagrams, I would like to show you that what kind of observations are made after performing positive staining and negative staining for a bacterial culture. So here this picture is going to show you unstained bacterial culture, okay? Which is a bacterial culture of what? Bacilli and cocci, means rod shaped bacteria and circular or spherical shaped bacteria. So once we take this culture and we perform positive staining for it, this type of results usually we get. Means it is the outcome of direct staining. Here, what kind of results we can observe? That background is colorless and the bacterial cells will be colored, okay, will get stained with the staining reagent what we are using to perform positive staining, okay, that is the color of basic stain, okay, and if I talk about negative staining, in case of negative staining, the same culture will appear like this under microscopic view, right, so what we can observe here, here actually the background is colored and bacterial cells are colorless, that's why we call it as indirect staining right because here indirect means of examination of bacterial cells we are going to use by staining the background right so now we are coming towards underlying principle of positive staining and negative staining so with the help of a pictorial presentation i would like to show you here so suppose in case of positive staining this bottle is showing us what it is showing us a positively charged stain in it right positively charged means basic stain right now when we use this staining reagent to stain the bacterial cell Always remember bacterial cell on its surface carry what kind of charge? Negative charge, right? So when we use this stain to stain the bacterial cell, what kind of uh, observations we can expect here? That this positively charged stain will get bind to the negatively charged surface of the bacterial cell, okay? And it will um, felicitate what? The binding of the staining reagent to the bacterial cell. And which in turn will result in what? Colored bacterial cell means bacterial cell will get stained because of the binding of the dye to it, right? And if I talk about the background, background will be colorless because the dye will be attracted towards bacterial cell 
and there will be binding because of the positive and negative charge right so this type of principle actually exist which forms the basis of positive staining so now we are coming towards negative staining principle so here we are again going to take the staining reagent but here we know the kind of stain what we are going to use it is differing from what positive stain it carries actually negative charge in case of negative staining and it is acidic stain right so when we use this kind of stain to stain the bacterial cell again the bacterial cell is having what kind of charge negative charge so when we uh, use this stain to stain the bacterial cell under examination what kind of results we can expect during microscopic examination or microscopic view what will happen the negative charge of the staining reagent will actually be repelled by the negative charge of present on the bacterial cell surface okay so the, this will lead to repulsion between the dye and the bacterial cell and what will be the result of it the bacterial cell will be colorless in this case okay and the background will be colored so this is the underlying principle of negative staining okay so i hope this information will really be useful for all of you Thank you so much. Keep watching.